Welcome back to the Dark Side Detective. Let's uh keep looking around and see if we can how we get this transceiver. And then we have two other places we have to go. We have to go back to the TV station. We got a lot to do, so let's talk to the lady. What am I gonna wish for? Lots of money, internal youth, world peace. Oh, that sounds good, but I think I just want a giant trifle. Like huge. Big enough to swim in. Hope this isn't a giant marshmallow man kind of moment. Make a wish. I wish I was a wish giver. Quiet your fleshy world hole. Zoltar is about to dispense some powerful wisdom. Your cat has too many eyes. Huh? Is he gonna say the same thing? Brown is not a good color for you. Is that all he says is those two things? Your lucky number is Tractor. It is also your pin number. Shh! <laughs> see if we can see get any other ones. Nope, is that it? Give it one more go. Yep, okay, it seems like there's only three. Don't touch that! For perfectly safe reasons that won't get me arrested. Wanna buy a gold-bladed cat? Let's see... There's a leak in your apartment. Let's see... This cookie was made in unclean factory. You have lice now. All Capricorns are in debt. Sorry. Who would want a misfortune like these? Who is your target audience? I don't know. Masochists? I hope you're wearing boots because you're going to stub your toe today. Is that it? <laughs> Those aren't free, you know. If you had done the lottery last week, you would have won. Your numbers came up. See if there's another one. Is that it? Yep, looks like it. You took a monkey paw with you? Of course! How do you get rid of a curse if not by passing it on? Unrelated, can I interest you in this entirely curse-free witch-granting charm, young lady? How bad a curse are we talking here? Roxa! <laughs> Alright, let's uh, continue to the bazaar. Whoa. This is, uh... Kinda crazy. Second, second hand hands that run like new. Our dedicated ne necrologist will work the graveyard shift to meet your needs organically. This cue reminds me of the time I camped out for a copy of the handbook for the recently deceased. Oh my god, I'm gonna be late, late, late! Um, but do I care? I do not! I want those cookies and I want them bad! What are all these people queuing for? The sea hag cookies, by the look of it. Sea hag soggy biscuits. The flavors in the wetness? Gross. What a sinister looking sign. Oh, I didn't know we could just walk in. You're next, honey. What can I do for you? Oh, I'm not sure. I wish I could buy the lot. Well, I sure as Hank ain't gonna stop you. <laughs> I mean, I wish I could afford to. <laughs> you have fixed assets, don't you? A car, a house, family, stuff you can sell. Oh, uh, I, I can't sell stuff like that. Ask yourself this. Does any of that stuff make you feel as good as delicious, freshly bare-brained bris brined biscuits? Oh gosh, you have me there. Something seems off here. Very. This place is suspect. Oh, sorry. No, no, not at all. D did you want to? 
Oh, gosh, no, please, it's your game. Um, okay, anyway, I think we're agreed that this place is pretty suspicious. <laughs> it's your game. They offer ocean sprayed mints, brined biscuits, caramel and sea salt cookies, saline snacks, and tsunami s'mores. Why, I'm afraid all those cookies have been pre-ordered. I can take your details and massive down payment for the next batch if you'd like. Maybe later. No free samples, I'm afraid. Why, y'all are gonna have to join the queue like the other idi idiosyncratic customers. They do, they do taste magical, like kissing the girl of your dreams, or riding a roller coaster for the first time, or kissing a roller coaster, or... Capped hag, buff hag, blue hag. You're a cool, you're a quiet one. Mama said never to talk to a policeman. Mama harbored some institutionalized sexism, but I think deep down she meant never talk to the police. What you looking at? A chump like you can't control whether he's snoop and don't deserve eyes. Hear that? Next batch is almost ready. Hell yeah! Heck yeah, Melissa. There's no room for potty mouths under the sea. Well, looky see, girls. A bona fide, bona fide man of the law. What can we do for you, detective? Oh, nothing. Just browsing. Browsing is cop for snooping. Now, now, Malicent, why, I'm sure the nice man and his lost friend have the very best of intentions. Well, I'm not lost. Oh, I don't know about that, honey. You look like you need some discipline in your life. Some guidance. Why, you should consider joining the Sea Hags and giving yourself over to the Deep Mother. The Deep Mother? Why, she's the metaphorical goddess in all of us. And, of course, very real goddess deep in the ocean, waiting for the sea levels to rise and drown the land folk who forsook her. <laughs> Soon may she rise. Soon may she rise. Soon may she rise. I might pass, thanks. Well, that's both your choice and your loss, honey. Hope you can swim, lady. Let's go to the back of the shop. One more step, bub, and I'ma play you like an accordion. Okay. So I'm assuming we can't do anything in here unless we can release the birds. So we can't do anything in here yet. We have an alleyway. And a man in a big coat. Well, hey there, little fella. You looking for a good time? Uh... The name's Charlie, and I like hanging out. Wanna go skydiving? Invite your old pal Charlie. Need a buddy for a dangerous climb? Then Charlie's your man. Wanna race down the wrong side of a highway and stare death in the eyes? Charlie is in. So, wanna do something? We can't. We're in the middle of something. Sorry. Aw, oh, man. Nobody wants to hang with old Charlie. I'm so bored. I wish I had something fun to do while I wait for somebody to want to hang with me. So we have a wheelie bin and a vent. If we can move this bin, I could get into that vent. Let's do it! Uh... It's too heavy for just the two of us. This case is giving us a real tour of the city, from its highest highs to its lowest lows. That leads into the back of the Sea Hag building. Her. I can't reach it. Need to find another way. Do we give him the birds? Alright, well... So we need... To do a lot of things. First things first... We need to go... To... The TV station. Oh, Harry, everybody's gone! You again? I hope you didn't bring more screaming children with you to ruin my love life. Not today. I think it's for the best the Blood Wolves got in the lift home. This guy looks fit to explode. So, do we take the paint can now? Do we dip the birds in the paint can? 
Do we go? In oh, we have to get into the editing room. Um. So she's gone. So how do we get into the room? Do we use the, the VHS on the editing room? Well, if there's no one inside, why can't we just go in? Oh, light's on. Guess I can't enter. Okay, so we have to, like, turn off the light. Okay, okay, okay. So let's... Maybe I come back here. So we checked out the pier. Now we can go to the auction house of the junkyard. Let's go to the junkyard. This is handy. I've been planning a trip back out here for a while. Back? Do you come here often? Eh, I'm a student who hunts ghosts on the side. The junkyard is where I do my thrift shopping, detective. It says, beware the... And then dogs is scratched out and they've written in animals? I've got a good feeling about that. Yeah. How welcoming. Oh, no. <laughs> we, we have the gremlins. No, no, long coat back again. Too smelly in pockets. No, no, like. These guys, I thought they were locked away. No way. Are these gremlins, like, for real? As in everything they touch breaks? That's them. Dooley and I locked them away safely in a magical urn in the station, though. Not sure how they got here. Familiar looking box. The box is labeled Dark Side, Dork Side Trash. Hey, this is a box of my stuff. The king must have thrown our case files out when the division was closed down. That might explain how the gremlins came to be here. I bet one matching pair of socks that this will find its way into my local laundrette inside of the next seven days. Who owns a pair of matching socks? All my socks match. If I end up with this stray sock, it goes into the naughty bag. Matching socks are like the front of cereal packets. It's the serving suggestion. Hope we find Dooley soon. This partnership is never going to work out. Hey! I wonder what happened to that. There's a family of raccoons in here. They do not seem happy to see us. I was hired to get a ghost out of a truck once. Turned out there was just pigeons roosting in it. They were ghost pigeons, but, but still, just not that exciting. Pull, pull, buzz, buzz. No feel fingers no more. Still breaking every machine you touch, I see. Smell food. Pull, pull, pull it out. I think they're hungry. I wonder if I can fetter a horse's ghost to get to this and get it running again. We had one of those when I was a kid. I should not have been driving so young. <laughs> we have a tube of solvent. A half-used can of solvent. Soon to be a fully used can. Stupid lady only give good food. Want, want junk food. What good junkyard with no junk food? Bleep, 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 bleep. Me like noise machine. Bleep, bleep. So we can go to machinery. We have those guys. Look, there are the wires. No. Oh no, they're gonna get crushed! We need to stop the machine. Excuse me. Sorry, can't hear you over pistons repressurizing for my next crush. Damn it, we don't have much time. We need to get this machine offline fast. If, I've, if I ever have to find a needle in a haystack, I know where to bring the haystack. A portable haystack? Come on. Can't, can't be weirder concept than the gremlins or portals to a spooky other world? Broken bit of pillar. There they are, but I can't reach them through the fence. 
That machine seems to be repressurizing its pistons to go again. We need to find a way to break the crusher before it flattens the wires. How are we going to break something that size? I don't know, but this is a junkyard. There's got to be something around here we can use. Can we use the solvent on it? We can go in the office? It's locked. Employees only! Alright, so... I wonder if I could smash some stuff here. An ex of mine left some things I'm pretty sure he wanted destroyed. <laughs> a warning light. In case the giant metal frame of grinding noises didn't alert you enough. I can't see a way to get to the other side of the fence. Alright, so... Can we get Spike to do it? Okay, so we have a lot of things to do, I think. So we have solvent, and we don't know what to do, do, we don't know what to use it on. We use the birds on the raccoons. And we need to get the wires. But we need to stop the machine. And we still have one more place that we can check. Before we... <laughs> Yuck, saw the beast. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can get any items. Your adventures bring you all over the city. I've never been anywhere like this before. Eh, usually they're set in one place, but we blew the budget on the first case to impress the audience. It's all down here from here. Case 4 is set in a kitchen cupboard. Yogg Sothby's auction house, where even your sanity has a price. Is it just me, or does this, does looking at this make you feel like you're in another dimension? The bubbles, they're so round. So many dimensions. Twin Lakes' finest purveyor of gone-off food. Is that a thing? A thing people want? People eat at auction houses like old, like old things. Why not old food? I serve gourmet food sourced locally from the bins of Twin Lakes' finest restaurants at a fraction of the price. Here, try some stale pizza crusts on the house. Eh, thanks? So, I'm assuming... Oh, well, I, f I didn't know you were saying something else. Congealed soup? Some fuzzy sushi, maybe? This conversation is doing more harm to my sanity than these eerie statues. So we have stale pizza, which I'm sure we can take to the gremlins. We might as well check inside the auction house. So, uh, how much for this Fabergé ink work? Uh, let me see. Wow, the coloring... The fine detail. The wait a second. It's fake. It had wrong number of scales painted on the couple. Uh I can fix that, uh not a problem, just I'll just add a few more. There are already too many. Yep, yep, of course. Uh remove a few, I I hear ya. But I know it's a fake now. I'm not buying a fake, even if it looks good. Aw, oh, lady, you're killing me here. Okay, yeah, that's that's very very fair. You can't buy from me. I got you now. My uh my twin, uh, identical and always bar that he's got a fake uh real mustache. Can you buy it from him? Please leave. Ah, uh, what a load of rubbish into the trash with this. We're gonna take it. If he's just gonna trash that, we might as well take it. Do you always take stuff from the trash? Oh yes, most of it's not even useful. I have a lot of broken light bulbs, chewed gum, and old receipts in here. Oh, I'm banned from all the good dry cleaners. The morning light is beautiful. Not as beautiful as the items in today's auction. Wait, why does that look like them? The crap rich people spend their money on. Think of all the health care that could be bought with this money. 
You can't put universal health care on a plinth in your foyer and use it to make your rich friends feel lesser, young lady. This claims to be the horned skull of an imp. The world's first ever trophy awarded to the artist for trophy making. Sawn from a stone in England. That explains the missing tip. This painting looks like us, but in some green, foggy place. I wouldn't stare at that for too long. That sure is a painting. It sure is. Whatever it's meant to be, it sure looks like it. This soul jar contains seven souls, one of which is very good and two are very bad. Never noticed it before, but can you look a bit like Caesar? It too rocks a... Apply to the face for possession. That looks like the book we need. It has the confusing scribbles of a dark side artifact. There's no way I can just take the thing with all this security. Guess I'll need to find something to swap it with it. Even a few pages would be enough. We've got so much to do. These things, the things some people will try to sell us as we've... As if we're some kind of pawn shop. Some guy tried to sell me a homemade clay urn with strange markings. Damn it, McKean. Another tried to give us a slimy computer saying it belonged to a lake monster. Damn it, Dooley! And another tried to sell us a bald cap and fungal beard saying it was from another dimension. Damn it, me! <laughs> So we have a Fabergé acorn, stale pizza. Do we use the solvent on the acorn? I'm going to remove the extra scales. Pete drew on this. Real Fabergé acorn. Does this look more real than before? I can't really tell. So do we try to sell it to her now? So we have backstage, the podium, podium. The screen, the projector. This place is so fancy it has to be sinister. Hey guy, is this being auctioned today? Nope. That's part of the normal setup here. Not for sale. That's a shame. You should just lo you just lost out on seeing me under bid and getting out priced almost immediately. This would make a great this would be great to play games on. Just think of how crisp our pixels would look on something this size. The Auctioneer's Podium. It's probably the only place I can get my actual hands on pages from the book. If we have something to replace them with, that's where we could do the switch. This chair is worth more than my entire apartment. Mine too. Not another one. Look, the auction isn't happening until the Auctioneer is back. Back? From where? I don't know. I think he went to one of the piers to get cookies or something. Equally rubbish and irresponsible. Oh, that was the dude with the hammer. <laughs> Is the auctioneer. <laughs> Can we go backstage? Oi, auctioneer's only back there. No hammer, no enter. So if we get a cookie, we can change it for his hammer. Which means then we can go backstage. Can we do anything with this with her? I think I'm missing something with that plan. Just a regular old bin now. I've robbed it of its treasures, like Carter did the pyramids. The morning light is beautiful. Not as beautiful as the items in today's auction. So, we have some things now, so I kind of want to go back to the junkyard to see if we can give the stale pizza to Gramps. I don't think feeding them here will help me get that crusher offline. Do we throw the pizza on the conveyor belt? This should lure the gremlins out here. Now to figure out a way to grab those wires. Not so fast! Oh, come on! That's cheating! Give those back! Nah, I'm sick of these boys breaking my machines. If you want these wires, you'll, have, you'll need to find me some stronger tech to power all this. Hee hee hee, no belt match for Spike. It's 
It's broken now. Need to find some sturdy tech to repair this with, so she'll release the wires. Yum yum pig's bum! Ew, what? Big machine tastes like metal. Oh. We do not. Okay. So now we can take the broken console. Junior was playing with a joy child, but it seems the screen is broken. There's only sound coming from it now. And the spoiled food. Do those gremlins have their shots? The old one might have tetanus now, if not. It's safer if less exciting now. So we have a broken joy child. Birds. And a real Fabergé acorn. Great tunes, though. If we don't find a use for it, I'm taking it as a shower radio. Alright, so... Can we look in the box now? Nope. Hmm... Alright, so we have the screen, where we have the broken joy child, a Fabergé egg, and the robotic birds, which we still don't know what we do with. Okay, so where would we go from here? Oh, we can take... Go into the black market, go to the bazaar... Can we go into the shop, give her the Fabergé egg to give us a cookie? No. Can we give it to this dude? Do we use it on the cookie? Okay. So we can't. Do we give it to this dude? Can we go in the organ bucket? We give it to the Q. Alright, so that wasn't right. Would this help you with your boredom? <laughs> oh gosh, I'm mighty thankful, little fella, but I'm not sure what fun there is to be had in a broken console. What about the birds? So we need to fix the console. How do we fix the console? Do we give it to this dude? Can we give him the Fabergé acorn? Can we give him the acorn? Okay, so... We need to get the thing on air to give to get the tech. And then... Do we give the seagull the acorn? Hmm. Fair enough. So we still have a lot of things we need to figure out. Where we need to do with the junkyard... Well, can the robot birds be better than Nope. Okay. So we have to figure out a few things. So when we come back we will uh, do some more investigating. Try to figure out what we need to do with some of these items. We've got a lot of places to go to, which is a little scary <laughs> trying to figure out what I'm using with different things. Can we use this in here? Nope. Can we use this in here? Nope. So when we come back, we will uh, keep looking around and uh, see what we can figure out. Till then, y'all take care. Of course, have a good one. <laughs>